Hi. Welcome back. I'm really glad that you wanted to participate in our second lucid dreaming experiment. Um, how did um, how did the first session work out for you? Was it okay? Was it too hard? Or okay, so you found it to be quite good. Well, that's nice. So for this experiment, I really wanted to give our best patients, and you were one of our best, um, a bit more, you know, of a challenge than last time. Last time was pretty basic, lucid dreaming, but this time I thought it would be very cool if we could do a more advanced lucid dreaming experiment with you. So, are you okay with this? Mm. I completely, um, I completely get you. It, it can be quite, quite hard to get your mind to react the way you want. So, um, and also, I want you to pay close attention. This time you have to play, pay even more attention to that you don't fall asleep. Um, and if you do, it's okay. Then we'll just do the experiment again. But try and pay very close attention to anything that seems abnormal. Anything that wouldn't take place in the real world. Like, if you see maybe a goat with two heads or something like that, you know what I mean, then be aware of it and be aware of yourself in the lucid experience, okay? Good. Um, and before we begin, I would really like to perform a, uh, a small, um, or, you know, short cranial nerve exam on you, just so we can, you know, let the possibility, maybe if you have a little um, dysfunctional thing with your brain, I do not expect it, you know, many people have little errors in their brain that might, um, you know, might affect the lucid dream, but it's so rare that people have that. In most cases, it doesn't even matter. At least in the other studies that we've made, it has not been so important. So, um, how do you feel about doing that with me? So, I just want you to follow my finger, wherever it goes, just follow it with your eyes. Good. And the other way. Up. Center. Good. Good. Up and down. Well, your eyesight, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a really good stretching exercise for your eyes as well. Um, I'm just shortly going to uh, try and feel your head. I'm going to come a bit closer to you, okay? I'm just going to try and feel if there are any you know, irregularities or um, soreness in your head. Okay. So, so 
so far it feels really good you have a strong even skull so that's pretty good and mm, in the back of your head just try and feel your neck muscles a bit here and up around you know where the skull meets the neck okay and I'm just gonna try and feel your forehead a bit also um, sometimes you know you can be really have some tension that might prevent the dreaming from happening so. good I couldn't feel anything that was out of the normal or, you know so are you ready to begin the descent? Okay. Let's go ahead, lie down for me, please. And let me take you through the lucid dream. Now, if you accidentally imagine anything else than what I've said, then, um, you know, it's okay if you are not able to imagine all the stuff that I'm gonna ask you to. So, to start by taking some nice deep breaths for you to get relaxed, okay? Okay, inhale now. And exhale. Good. Inhale again. And exhale. With the next three breaths, you're gonna feel that your body really settles down, really relaxes, and that. Every word that comes out of my mouth functions as lithium to your brain. It totally sedates you in the most pleasant way. Okay, let's take another breath. Breathe slowly, calmly. The next breath now, inhale for me. And slowly let it go. By the time you're done with your next breath, your body will have fallen into a deep state like it's cradled and nourished by my words. So take the final breaths now and we'll be ready to go on with the dreaming. Inhale for me please. And exhale. Feel it growing so soft your body is becoming butter melting out in your bed good now I want you to imagine inside of your own mind that you are located in a fairy tale forest. You know, like the ones you see in the movies. The trees have 
all shapes and sizes. Some are smaller than your leg, and some are taller than the tallest mountain. Still you sense this feeling of calmness, of peace that surrounds you. There's nothing here that wants to harm you. Absolutely nothing. It's just you and my voice. And my voice can be your grasp on what is real and what is not. Remember that. So, now you're all quietly walking around in the forest. Maybe you notice little mushrooms on the ground and flowers and bushes with berries on them. You can try and up to the bush and pick a berry if you'd like. Or just keep on walking. Now you are walking amongst some really tall grass. Like the grass is progressively getting taller as you walk and you are still aware that this is a dream this is your imagination showing you all things that you're seeing right now and the things that you are about to see and experience so you keep walking through the grass and now you cannot see around you the grass is so tall it feels like silk when it strokes along your bare skin like you are caressed all over by the soft green grass. Now you can sense the grass is coming to an end and you are emerging on the other side. On the other side of the grass you will find a small pool water, like a tiny lake. It isn't much bigger than the average pool. And you know, a public swimming pool. So it's about 25 meters long. meters wide so it's like rectangular you can go up to the pool if you would like to up to the lake you can see all the way to the bottom and it's not deep at all you can easily go down into the water if you'd like try and do that for Sense the water on your foot and feel that it has a very pleasant temperature. Good. You're now sinking into the water. But don't be afraid. This is only your imagination. And if you find this uncomfortable at any time, 
you are capable of snapping out of it and be wide awake if you feel like you want to go on please do so continue to sink your body into the water your entire body now covered in the water up to your chest the water feels clean has a slight you know scent of roses to it like a clean flowery smell and yet it smells of nothing just clean And I want you to look up and you suddenly see this beautiful oak tree that stretches its branches out over the entire lake. You are located in the middle of the lake and your feet can easily reach the bottom. The water is still turquoise, clear turquoise color and very friendly and warm. Now look up at the strong branches of the oak tree. They're so big and strong, they can easily carry a person without breaking. So I want you to now try and feel that your body is growing heavier. A little heavier. But all of a sudden it feels like it's reversing itself and that your body is becoming lighter and lighter like the gravity ceases to exist you can feel your body's trap starting to float upwards towards the branches you can stretch your arms and try and feel feel how light you are like the water is carrying you up supporting you in your attempt to reach the oak tree good continue Believe that it can happen. I know you can do this. Believe in it, and you can do it. Good. Keep reaching, reaching. Stretch. Now you've hopefully reached the tree. You've done such a good, good job. You're so good. You can now with ease swing yourself up in the tree. And in the tree you'll see it is so huge. has a huge surface on the middle where the crown is supposed to be where the center is supposed to be and inside there 
you'll find a door that leads down to the very core of the tree. When you're not afraid to open, go up to the door and open it. Feel the texture of the wood as you walk across the old oak tree. It smells so good. Leaves and wood. And you find it so comfortable. doors made of a clear plastic material, like a shiny plastic door. Try and open it. Feel your grasp on the handle. And open the door. Warm, glowing light shines from inside the core of the tree. And the light will lead you back to me, back to reality. So I will count you up from your days, from your dreams. And when I reach 10, you will be completely awake, completely capable of remembering everything that has just happened to you. Okay, one, you're really happy now. Two, you're good. Six, more and more awake. Seven, you're almost awake now, sensing your outside world. Feeling more refreshed, energized. Nine. You're now almost completely aware of everything that is happening around you and where you are, who you are, who I am, and what you've experienced. And ten. Wide awake. Open your eyes. I hope you had a great experience and I will get back to you with the results just let you wake up a bit um, and I'll get back to you with the results in a couple of weeks, okay? Alright, thanks so much for participating once again I cannot thank you enough so I'll see you uh, for our next appointment and uh, take good care, okay?